So I think we've had a solid first half. We're definitely benefiting from positive markets, particularly US defense spend, which continues to be strong. That's feeding through into good uh, order book development and revenue growth. And we're also seeing that drop through to operating profit broadly as anticipated. Uh, and both our revenue and operating profit are up 8%. So all in all, I think the business is delivering as it should in the first half. I've been at Ultra over a year now, and the Ultra that I know today is very much uh, the Ultra I thought I'd find when I first arrived. I think the one thing that is changing is the increasing and ever greater opportunity that I see at Ultra from doing things slightly differently, from changing from a group of technology-rich, site-based businesses with good people into a much more collaborative organization that's focused very hard on delivering the best of our capability and our products and services to our customers. As I reported at the full year results in March, we've gone through a detailed exercise to look at all of Ultra's businesses and capabilities to identify those that we're either good at or really good at, that set us apart from our competitors, and those where we can create significant parenting advantage from having the businesses work effectively together. As a result of that, we are now on the journey of evolution from a, an aggregation of technology-rich, but quite tactical and site-focused businesses, but with really good people, uh, and also the processes and practices more suited to small and medium-sized enterprises, to what we're going to be in the future. And that is a collaborative and focused, applications-engineered, defense and critical detection and control solutions provider. At its highest level, I think this strategy allows Ultra to accelerate value creation for all of its stakeholders by bringing together all of the technology and capabilities of the Ultra Group to focus on providing customers with the best solutions and delivering it in the most cost-effective way. What does this mean in practice? Well, it means we're going to take a much more group-wide view of technology investment and sharing and invest more in internal research and development. We're going to look at the more effective utilization of Ultra's capabilities and competencies. There'll be greater sharing and standardization of best process and practice. And most importantly, much more strategic relationships with our customers that allow us to invest in the right technologies to support their future needs and allow us as an organization to both cross market and to sell more effectively. So we've got a number of initiatives ongoing to improve our underlying processes focused on better execution and delivery. We block them into four main areas, culture and talent, operating model, process and practice, and infrastructure. In culture and talent, we've made good progress on developing a vision, mission, and values that supports better execution of our strategy. We've made investment in people capability, and we've developed a group-wide ethics and code of conduct that we're training everybody to. Under operating model, we're making good progress reviewing the group's organizational design to ensure that it is focused on harnessing our strengths, improving our strategic delivery, and executing more effectively. In process and practice, we're making good progress on a number of our core processes, particularly program management, commercial, and technology, although there's much more to do in this area. And on infrastructure, we've made good progress on investing to ensure that this organization is set up to be collaborative in the future. So although our operating margins are flat on a headline basis, actually, when you take account of the cost overruns we saw in Hurley in the first half of 2018, they're actually down, but that's as anticipated at the beginning of the year. They're down for three main reasons. Firstly, it's mix. So the products and services that we are delivering in the first half uh, contained an unusually high proportion of development contracts and also the mix of margin on the products and services we're delivering in 2019 will be much more weighted to the second half of the year. Secondly, it's the impact of all the investment we're putting into the business, both internal 
research and development, and in the infrastructure to allow us to be more collaborative. And lastly, there were some one-off benefits that we saw in 2018, which didn't repeat in the first half of this year. Ultra strategy going forward is very much focused on value creation. And we did sell two businesses in the first half, uh, Corvid Paygate, payment solutions business, and Airport Systems, uh, which we announced with our prelims in March. We have no current plans to sell any other major uh, ultra businesses, but we will always look at uh, opportunities through a value creation lens. We had a good first half with the businesses delivering what they should. And this gives us really good momentum going into the second half of the year. And so I'm confident that 2019 will be a year of progress at Ultra. Almost more importantly, in the first half of this year, we've won positions on a number of important new programs, which have very significant potential for Ultra in the future. So all in all, as I sit here at the end of the first half, I'm really excited about Ultra's short and long-term prospects.